Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, we are stuffing my third paycheck from March. So that is the money that I have right here in front of me. And happy Friday, you guys. I'm so glad that this week is pretty much over. It's been such a long week for me, um, but I'm so glad that it's finally the weekend. I do have some things planned this weekend, so um, that should be fun. I actually have a funeral to go to, which isn't very exciting, but um, other than that, I'm going to try to have, you know, some fun this weekend. Um, I did want to let you guys know, if you do have a YouTube channel and you make videos about budgeting or whatever you make, it could be anything, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I do want to start showing my appreciation for you guys and check out your channels. I'll leave you guys some likes and comments. Um, but just let me know down below if you do have a channel that way I can check you guys out because you guys are all so supportive of me and you guys are always leaving me comments and you know nice things and reaching out to me on snapchat and I really do appreciate it so I want to give my love and support back to you guys. Um, so if you do have a channel just let me know it can be anything I'm interested in different topics it doesn't have to just be budgeting. But sometimes I'll be up late at night like scrolling and I'll watch some of you guys' videos and I just want to, um, you know, make sure I'm able to check out everyone's channel. So just let me know down below. Also, um, I want to check with you guys. A lot of you guys suggested that I give away Starbucks tumbler cups as the giveaway prize. Um, so I was thinking about giving away a, a Starbucks tumbler. If you don't know what it is, it looks like this. Um, not necessarily this one, but just a tumbler cup and like a Starbucks gift card. So I'll probably be doing that as the giveaway prize. I know not everyone drinks coffee um, and like Starbucks, but I feel like that would be a cute idea as like a cup and a gift card. Um, so I don't know. I'm still deciding, but 7,000 subscribers is when I'll be doing the giveaway. So make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel. That way you can be entered into the giveaway, whatever it may be. Um, and then last thing I want to say before we get started with the stuffing is I'm going to start doing random giveaways. So in today's video, we're going to do a random giveaway and I'm going to be cash apping someone at $10 for your coffee or whatever you want to use the money for. Um, but I feel like it's just a cute way for me to give back and show my support to you guys. So I'll be doing random giveaways here and there throughout um, my videos that I upload, but I'm going to be cash apping someone at $10 today. So make sure you leave me a comment down below. It doesn't have to be anything like long or specific, just any sort of comment. And if you're chosen, I'll reach out to you and I will cash app you $10. So we'll do random giveaways here and there on my channel. I feel like it's just a cute way to give back and just a fun little idea. So make sure if you would like to be entered into the $10 giveaway for today, um, just leave me a comment down below. All right, enough of me rambling. So we'll go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing. So I had to up my amounts in some of my envelopes because I was noticing that I was just going over how much I was putting in them um, just because things are becoming super expensive, mostly gas and groceries. Um, like food prices are going up crazy and gas prices are just through the roof. So I'm upping what I'm putting in these envelopes. So for groceries this week, it's going to be getting $60 instead of, um, the normal 50 that I put in. So I'm going to give it a 50 and then a $10 bill. So my kids, dad and I, you know, normally split groceries or like whoever feels like going to the grocery store, will just go and grab the groceries. But I do budget normally it's fifty dollars um every week but now i'm doing 60 and that normally lasts us i go to um aldi and little or liddell or however you say it i don't know how you really pronounce it but uh, mainly aldi i love aldi's and they have such good prices on like their fruits and vegetables and stuff so 60 or 50 dollars a week usually lasts me for my half um I know a lot of you guys are like wondering how do you make it on $50 in groceries or you know why do you stuff certain amounts in your envelopes but that is why because we do split things um, I don't pay for groceries all on my own but I do coupon I coupon a lot and I always catch the sales and discounts on things um, and I always go to I'll go to sometimes like produce markets like we have produce junction here um, in Delaware and they have like really good prices on their fruits and stuff so I always make out just fine with 50 but things are going up so I'm doing 60 and then for gas so gas there's really no way to avoid paying for gas prices I mean we all have to do it but I've noticed that I'm having to spend more in gas than I would really like to um so I'm gonna be putting $70 in my gas envelope this week instead of my normal 50 because 50 whoops 
I meant to grab a 20. Um, 50 is just not cutting it. It's not going to work for me. <laughs> um, I put $50 in last week and I was on E after like four days. So an extra 20 should be good. 70 a week for gas. I feel like it's going to last me and just got to do what we got to do. You know, gas prices are unavoidable. So it is what it is. But uh, moving on to myself. So for myself, I'm giving it $20 this week. And then next is for nails. Nails is going to be getting $20. I'm supposed to be going today later on um, to get a fill. I'm sick of looking at these nails. I'm sick of the color. Honestly, I think after this, I'm just going to go back to doing my nails myself because I actually like them better. And um, I'm so traumatized from how much these cost. But I'm going to be getting a fill. Normally, it's like $40 or $50 for a fill. It just depends on what design I decide to get. But I really, I'm not super huge on having to have like fake nails. So I'll just probably do them myself. Um, it's really easy. I just order the kit off Amazon and it comes with, you know, a bunch of nail tips and you just kind of do it yourself and it lasts the same amount of time as um, the fake nails from the salon. So I'll probably go back to that. But moving on to Starbucks. So Starbucks this week, I'm giving $30. I was also um, realizing that stuffing, I think I was doing like $15. It just wasn't enough. I was going over um, my budget for Starbucks because my drinks that I get, I'll show you guys. So I get an iced latte with four pumps of vanilla, oat milk, iced, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. And sometimes I'll get um, the espresso blonde. It's really good if you've never tried it. It's just like a lighter tasting espresso, but it still has the same amount of caffeine. Um, but my drinks are about $7 a piece and I'm there at least three times a week. So if you do the math, $15 just is not enough. So I'm going to do 30 now. Um, and that should definitely last me through the week. So moving on to eating out. Um, eating out is going to be getting $30 this week. This is another envelope that I decided to up just because when you're out and about, um, you know, you're always like t grabbing things like I feel like I'm always grabbing food just like little snacks and stuff even for my kids and like when we're on the go and stuff it's just something that I feel like I can't really avoid doing I don't know <laughs> so I'm just going to be putting 30 in there and then next is for babies and babies is going to be getting 20 which I normally give them 20 every week unless we're going somewhere special then I'll give them a little bit more but 20 is the normal amount all right, so that is it for my cash envelopes. Um, I'm going to check again on this binder for you guys to see if it's back in stock. I know a lot of you ask about it, and it's been out of stock on Amazon. But if it is in stock, I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and move on. So we are starting with the short-term binder. So we are starting off with the 52-week savings challenge. This week is week 11, according to my um, tracker, my 52-week savings tracker. I don't know what happened. I was like, last week, I went back and watched my last week's video because I was like, I could have swore this week should be week 10, but the money is adding up to it being week 11. So I guess it's week 11. The calendar adds up to 11. Maybe I just said the wrong thing on last week's video. Um, but this week is week 11 and it's getting $175. So if you're following along, that is how much it's getting. So we'll give 150 a 20 and then a five so a 52 week savings now has one thousand one two three four five six seven eight fifty nine twenty forty and fifty so one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars for this week so next week we'll hit a placeholder which is very exciting i feel like this year is just flying by so quickly like Time needs to really slow down. All right, moving on to Aston. So Aston this week is going to be getting $50. All right, so that gives Aston $1,000, $2,050, So $2,150 for him. And then moving on to Alea. So Alea is also going to be getting $50 this week. All right, so that gives her 1,000, 2,000, 50, 150. So 2,150 for her as well. 
and I like to just make sure my kids envelopes are even it just helps with the mom guilt moving on to shopping so shopping is going to be getting $20 so shopping now has 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 and 40 so $140 for shopping next is family time so family time is going to be getting $10 I was supposed to take my kids to Nickelodeon this week. We were supposed to go a few weekends back. We never got to, but now we have to go to a funeral um, on Saturday tomorrow. So I'm going to try to do something fun with them today, but we'll see what happens. So family time now has 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, and 30. So 330 for family time. Next is for clothes. So clothes is going to be getting $20. I just ordered my kids some things from Old Navy. It was about $180. So their dad and I split that. Um, so I took some money out of this envelope. I took $90 out. So we only have $100 left. So I'm going to be adding $20. And that gives us $120. I swear kids clothes are literally my weakness. Like I'll be like, okay, the kids are set. They have all their clothes, everything they need. And then I see all these cute clothes online. Cause I'll just be up scrolling at night, just looking on like old Navy and H and M. And then I end up ordering stuff. Then I call their dad and then I'm like, Hey, look, I just ordered the kids clothes. I'm going to need some money. So just something that always happens, but <laughs> moving on to car. So car is getting $5 this week. And car now has 10, 20, 30, 40, and five. So I took some money out of here as well because I went to the car wash and I bought some stuff for my car. I'm obsessed with keeping my car clean. It just makes me happy. Like if my car is dirty, I don't know. I can't sleep at night. I just, I'm always outside cleaning my car, going to the car wash, vacuuming, tire shine, all of that. I love all of that. Um, moving on to Christmas. So Christmas is going to be getting $10 this week. And Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. All right, next is for gifts. And gifts this week is going to be getting $10. So gifts now has 10, 20, 30, 40, and 5. So 45 for gifts. Next is for vacay, and vacay is going to be getting $20. So it now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, and 60. You guys, my vacay is slowly approaching, and I'm so proud of myself because I actually packed my suitcase already. Like normally, I'm like scrambling stuff the night before, but this time I'm packed and prepared. My suitcase is all ready to go, and I am so excited. All right, next is for giveaway, and giveaway is getting $5 today. Don't forget to comment below if you guys want to um, be sent that $10 for today's little random giveaway. Um, the giveaway now has 50, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 5, and 40. So 140 for giveaway. And that wraps up my short term binder. So we will go ahead and move on to long term. All right, so starting off with the first envelope for the long-term binder, it's going to be for house, and house is going to be getting $20. So let's have a little chat real quick. Something in my soul is telling me to move to Florida, you guys. I've been seeing all these little things, like all these little sayings saying like, um, make the move, it's going to be the best decision you've made. Um, just like little quotes that I've been seeing because I've been like praying at night like God please tell me if I should stay in Delaware or if I should move I feel like in my soul that like I will have way better opportunity if I move to Florida but I'm like going back and forth because my family's here in Delaware and I'm such a homebody and like a person who hates change so I'm scared to like just pack up and move but I've been finding pretty these beautiful houses in Florida for like good prices good areas I found this realtor who's been helping me um look for houses in Florida so I'm like really stuck between like should I go or should I stay 
I don't know I'm so scared but like I feel like in my heart it's like telling me like just take the move just go start over start fresh like it'll be the best decision ever and I was talking to my friends about it and they're like I think you should do it like I don't know so I'm like really stuck between like should I stay or should I go I don't know um but I've got to really make a decision because I'm ready to move I just I have not been having much luck here in Delaware finding house that I love like there's nothing coming up on the market um the house prices are so extremely overpriced for what you're getting and I just feel like something in me is just telling me to just move and like start in a new area that I'm not super familiar with and just go from there I don't know I've just been having this feeling lately just telling me to so I don't know I'm so nervous to do it but I feel like it will really be like the best decision that I made so who knows we shall see um but all right so let's count it up we have 1050 152 20 40 60 80 90 and 3 so 1300 in house and um also i have about 34000 saved up in my um house savings account i have a savings account that's dedicated just to my house stuff like down payment furniture things like that a lot of you guys asked me how i saved that money up so some of the money i did save myself just you know budgeting weekly and stuff um majority of it came from when i sold my house i took a portion of the profit that i made and just put that money right into my um, savings account for my house just so you know i was set and i didn't have to worry about like trying to save up thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars um in a short time so most of it came from money that I made from selling my house but a lot of it I did sell or I did um save myself so just so you guys know um taxes I am not stuffing because I just got my taxes back if you have not seen that video check it out and see what I did with my tax refund student loans is getting its normal ten dollars so whoops we will go ahead and stuff that. So student loans has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And then moving on to investing. So investing is going to be getting $10 today. Last week, I took the $100 out and put it into my bank so that way I could invest. And you guys, I've been so busy this past week that I didn't even get to go on the um, crypto app and choose something. So I'm going to do that while we're on the car ride. We have to go to South Carolina for the funeral. So I'm going to um, go on my app and choose something to invest in while we're on the car ride. So I'll let you guys know what I chose. Um, savings and bank don't really have to do much with those envelopes. Um, but yeah, that wraps up today's cash stuffing, you guys. Um, at some point this weekend, probably Sunday, I'm going to go to Home Goods. I want to get some um, decor for the house. So I have a few more things to get. I want to get some containers. I don't know if you guys have seen on like Pinterest where you like have the clear acrylic containers and you just like put your cereal and stuff in them. And it like just looks so organized. And that's my idea I want to do with my pantry. Um, at the new house is just I want like everything to be in the clear container so I'm gonna go buy some of that and of course I'll probably find some other stuff at home goods because I mean every time I go I always find stuff that I probably don't really need but oh well so I'm gonna film that for you guys I'll take you guys along with me to do some house shopping and see what we can find that should probably be up at some point next week because I think I'm gonna go on Sunday but yeah that is it um make sure you guys do leave me a comment down below if you want to be entered into the random giveaway today i'll choose the winner probably by tonight um and then also let me know if you guys have your own youtube channels that way you can check some of your videos out but this video i feel like i rambled so much um but thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in next week's video but before i go i just want to let you guys know um, i'm going to be filming a savings update so i'll let you guys know how much i've saved since january so like a quarterly update um, on my savings so stay tuned for that that should be up at some point either this weekend or like monday or tuesday but i'll see you guys next week and talk to you later bye